A very good day to everyone. Welcome to Raw Online. This is Dr. Shakir Ahmed, a faculty from Sri Ramachandra Dental College. And we are again meeting here to discuss on another interesting topic in your removal partial denture section, which is your denture base and denture teeth. The contents of today's topic will include a basic introduction of what is a denture base and denture teeth. Then we will discuss about your denture base and denture teeth in detail. In your denture base, we will see about the basic requirements, functions, types and various other aspects in designing. Whereas in your denture teeth, we will discuss about your anterior teeth selection, types of teeth and the advantages and the basic selection criteria. Similar to that, we have a set of segments in which we will be discussing about your posterior replacement teeth. Starting off the introduction, as we all know, we have multiple components in a removal partial denture like a major connector, minor connector and other type of retainers. Out of that, we know the importance of all the designs or the all components which will aid us in creating a successful process. But whereas in a patient perspective, the patient is only concerned that he or she wants a replacement teeth. They come to you only to get a new set of teeth. So in that case, this topic today, your denture base and denture teeth is of great importance because the patient comes to you to get a new set of processes which helps them to chew and eat their food properly and to have a proper aesthetics when it is in the visible spectrum. So to start off with, your denture base again is defined as a part of a denture that rests on the foundation tissues to which teeth are attached. So as you can see here in the image in the bottom. You have your denture base which is in pink in color, usually made of acrylic. This will rest on the underlying alveolus which is covered by your mucosa. This is your edentulous span or edentulous area. Okay. The one in the pink here depicts your denture base and a denture teeth is a artificial replacement teeth. It is usually made of acrylic or porcelain or sometimes even metal. Okay. So this portion you have your replacement teeth which helps us to chew or grind is called as your artificial teeth. Next, we will see about denture base section in detail which will include your basic requirements, functions of your denture base, types of your denture base, indications of which type of denture base to use in which clinical scenarios. Then we will talk about the methods of attaching these forms of denture bases to the framework of your removal partial denture. Then comes your designing principles of your bases with the special importance being given to your relining procedure whether we need to relain your RPD in certain clinical scenarios or not. Start off with your basic requirements like any other dental materials which we use in your patient's mouth. Denture bases should also be biocompatible since it is going to stay in the patient's mouth for a very long time and since it rests on the foundation tissues. By definition your denture base rests on the foundation tissues right. So in that case, it should accurately adapt to the underlying tissues. It should have proper adaptation and it should have better physical and mechanical properties. Something like your tensile strength should be adequate, your compressive strength, your flexural strength of the material, decreased water absorption, it should not absorb too much water. All that properties has to be fulfilled by any form of material which we select to be used as a denture based material. Then comes your ease of fabrication and repair. Since your fabrication of your removal partial insert itself is a complex process with multiple components and designing involved, we do not want your denture base to add up on to that complexity. So it is easy to fabricate material is always preferred over a complex material in that case. Next comes your need for relining and your potential for future relining or rebasing. Since your underlying tissues on which your denture base rests tends to undergo anatomical changes over a period of time. Resorption can occur, soft tissue changes can occur. To compensate for that, we might have to reline or rebase your removed partial denture denture base section over a period of time. In the scenarios, we always prefer a material which has adequate potential for relining and rebasing. Next comes the point of aesthetically accept acceptable color and color stability. What do you mean by aesthetically acceptable? It is nothing but it should match the color of the gums of your patient. So once the gingival color is matched, it gives us a basic aesthetics which is pleasing for the patient. Similarly, the, that color which is achieved already has to be stable over a period of time. A patient 
for whom you have given a denture should not come back to you with a color change within a span of 6 months or 8 months. That again indicates a failure of the process which we have given. Next comes your taste and order. Any form of denture material which we are using should not deliver a taste or order during the usage. You have to make sure that does not interfere with the regular tasting and sensing of smell for your patients when they are trying to eat their food. Next comes your easy to clean the processes. Your processes should be fabricated in such a way that it should be easy to clean and maintain by the patient. Since we all know that your removal partial denture is again a removal processes. So, your patient will be removing the process daily and has to clean it and maintain it once in hour they have the food. So, the process also should have that potential to be easily cleansable. Next comes cost effective. Like for any processes, your materials should be cost effective even in your denture based procedures. Next, we move on to the different types of your denture bases. Starting off with based on the type of support it needs or derives, you have your tooth supported and your tooth and tissue supported. Whereas, your tooth supported is classically seen in your class 3 Kennedy situation which is an edential span bounded by abutment teeth on either side. So, most of the support is derived from the abutment teeth on either side and not much of stress is being given to the underlying denture bearing areas. Whereas, in tooth and tissue supported classic example is your class 1 and class 2 Kennedy's where it has a distal extension free end saddle which will rest on your denture bearing mucosa. So, here in this scenario the support is derived both from the distal most abutment teeth as well as the denture bearing tissues in the posterior region. Based on the material your denture bases are classified as acrylic denture bases and your metal denture bases. We will see in detail about all this.